Oh yeah, you gotta love that cheese pull. So, if you wanna know how I made this cheesy kimchi goodness, watch this video. Okay, to start off, we need to get some kimchi into a little food processor here, and we need to blitz it down to as fine as we can get it. Bang the top on, and then we're just gonna blitz this until it's liquid as we can get it. As always, you gotta scrape down the sides about halfway through. And keep on blitzing. Once your uh, kimchi's looking a little something like that, we're ready to move on to the next step. To move on to the next step, I've already got my flour weighed out in the bowl here. As always, all the correct amounts and ingredients are gonna be on the website, traditionalbutnot.com. So, to the flour, we're gonna add salt and some sugar, and then we're gonna add all of the kimchi that we just blitzed up. Just with a fork, we're just gonna get this started to get mixed together. I nearly forgot one of the main ingredients of this uh, dumpling here is some baking powder. So, you probably should add that in when you add the sugar and the salt. We're gonna add it now. We'll just get this kind of mixed in together a little bit. And then we're gonna start gradually adding the water. We don't wanna add it all at once, but we're gonna add about half of it to start with. And then we'll get that mixed in and we'll see if we need to add any more. Start mixing and then once it comes together, we'll come right back. Shouldn't take too long. That took literally 10 seconds from where we left off. I've gotten rid of the fork and I've actually added a little bit too much water to this now that I've started to fill it. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit more flour in. Not that much. You don't want to knead this too much. You just want to kind of bring it together until it's just come together and everything's incorporated really well. Because if you knead it too much, you're going to have a super chewy dumpling. Once you've dough just come together like this, we're going to gather it all up. We're going to plop it in a, another container and we're going to bang a lid on and we're going to let it rest for about 30 minutes or so. So with the dough, I just weighed it out and then I cut it into even portions and mine come out to about 70 grams each. So I've just got one of those here and also the dough was quite sticky, so I've got a lot of flour down, but just on one side, you wanna have the flour. You don't wanna have too much flour on both sides, otherwise it won't stick together properly. So I've also got some mozzarella here. So you just wanna pat your dough out, load it up with the mozzarella, and you just wanna pinch it all together, like so. Make sure everything's nice and joined together like that. Make sure there's no little holes there. And you wanna just, yeah, make it into a nice little, neat little package. Just put that to the side. Make sure you got some flour on the bottom, because otherwise it'll stick. And then I've pretty much uh, got these knocked out, so we'll uh, carry on with the rest and we'll, uh, then we'll come back. So to fry the balls, super simple. You wanna get uh, dust off as much flour as you can. You wanna put it in. If you had some spray oil, this would be the perfect time to use it. But because I don't have any, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna brush on some neutral oil. Now usually I use peanut oil, but today I'm using sunflower oil because, uh, well, that's what I got in the cupboard. I'm gonna be flipping these over halfway. So at the moment, I'm just brushing oil on one side. Then once about halfway done, we'll open it back up, we'll flip them around, and then we'll give the other side a bit of, a little bit of oil. So we'll close it back up, temperature 200 degrees, we'll push play, and then we'll be back in four minutes. We're halfway through to cook. We're gonna give them a little flip. Oh, we got a little hole already poking out of that one, but that's all right. So. Give them a little flip, a little brush of oil on this side. And we're gonna close it back up. And another four minutes. So this actual dough is a bit of a riff on a, uh, it's called a Johnny cake. It's like a Jamaican dumpling. Usually they're deep fried. And while I was kind of recipe testing, I've realized that in the air fryer, they taste a little bit doughy. So that's why I jazzed it up with the kimchi here. But let's see how we went. Mmm. I thought with the kimchi, would have had a little bit of spice to it, but I'm not really getting any of that. But I must say, even though there's no spice, that tastes damn good. A common thing with Johnny Cakes, I heard, was you eat it with some jerk chicken or some sort of spicy chicken. So, here's a sneak peek at next week's video.